Just looking at what's coming our way All and right. unfortunately uh, another bumpy ride. Unfortunately, and this is an anniversary, the anniversary of a week ago where we had uh, strong storms that rolled through and produced two tornadoes. We're going to see southerly flow out ahead of a cold front tomorrow. That's going to crank up the heat and crank up the humidity. That's going to supply us with some energy and then we're going to see that cold front slide through as we head into the afternoon. And that's going to bring showers and thunderstorms our way in. We're looking at some of those being strong to uh, severe and then most of that energy uh, starts to trickle out of the area as we head into your Wednesday and we're looking at temperatures that are going to be in the upper 80s pretty close to seasonal still a little uh, elevated dew points but it's going to be a little bit more comfortable as we head towards the weekend before our next rain chance trickles back into the forecast watching tomorrow afternoon roughly 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. for the potential for strong thunderstorms here damaging wind and heavy rain our primary concerns uh, but we cannot rule out an isolated tornado as there's going to be enough energy out there there's a, all of the the mechanisms essentially in place for some rotating thunderstorms so we need to be weather aware especially in these areas that are highlighted in the yellow so here's how we get through tomorrow Beginning of the day is not looking too bad. You will notice that the dew points are higher. It's going to be a little bit more humid as you're headed to work, and that's really going to crank up as we head into the afternoon. Watching that cold front build in from the west, if you're looking on the app and looking at the radar to the north and west of the city at 12 o'clock, there's not going to be a lot there. But the closer it gets to us, that's whenever the instability really starts to fire up. We're looking at the Cape, that uh, gas, that storm fuel that we're always talking about. We're talking about values upwards of 1,000, up to 2,000 in some places. So these thunderstorms are going to uh, grow pretty fast. Watching that slide through the area four to five, pushing on to the eastern shore by six, seven. And as we head into the evening hours, once we lose the heating of the sun, that's whenever we'll start to see those thunderstorms start to fizzle out. But up ahead of that front, we're going to be looking at some warm air moving in thanks to southerly flow here and those heat indices in the upper 90s in the city. That means some other locations outside of the area, places like Easton, uh, we can see those heat indices get into the triple digit. So it is going to be a very juicy atmosphere to say the least. Rain totals at ranging between a quarter inch to three quarter inch, but I locating some locations isolated, picking up to about an inch. So we are concerned about the potential for flooding. We're already over five and a half inches of rain for the month. Thankfully, we start to dry out as we head into your Wednesday clouds filter back in and there's going to be a hit or miss sprinkle for the afternoon, but I expect 95% of you to be dry through the day. And then that seven day forecast shows that we're drying out for your Thursday and Friday with temperatures that are pretty close to seasonal. A few more clouds on Saturday and then we're watching for those rain chances increasing Sunday and again on Monday. All right.